students. Today we are discussing about the geography class, our geography lessons of 10th standard state syllabus. All of us know that in geography there are 12 chapters are there and now we can also expect 4 mark question in geography even also 3 question, three mark question also. Earlier in the previous pattern there were no questions from geography for 3 and 4 mark question. So now we have. So let us see the first lesson the Indian position and extension. This is the first lesson in geography. So here many questions can be asked. So you can see uh, the geographical, no, total geographical area of India. So 332,87,263 square kilometers. Expansion means uh, Tropic of Cancer which uh, divides the country into two offs. So that can also be asked. So this is more important in ma uh, uh, marking and the map. 23 and off limit. <coughs> See this is which latitude is passed in the middle of the middle part of the country of India. So then you have to write 23 and off. And it can also be asked in the map question. So you have to show in the map. See, explain the extension of it, uh, the extent of India's latitude and longitude is the most important question. So 8 degree 4 minutes to 37 degree 6 minutes latitude and longitude is concerned 68.7 to 97.25 east so this is what you call latitude longitude extension of india which is the southernmost point of india see this is most important question and most of the children write wrong answer for this question because most of the children they write as Kanyakumari is the southernmost part of India, but actually it is Indira Point. Indira Point is the most part of India. So that has to be written. You have to keep in mind Indira Point. There are nine neighboring countries you have to write. So many neighboring countries are there. The easiest question you can write easily. So if you see the long answer questions here, no long answer questions. Only one mark question, a multiple choice question can be asked. As it is very small chapter, here we can't expect any three mark question, four mark question. Only one mark questions can be asked. So which is the largest state in India? Rajasthan is the largest state in India. Smallest is Goa. So these are all many questions can be asked. So please refer once the textbook then a lot of questions can be asked. Here see 82 and of East Longitude this is also very important because Indian Standard Time is reckoned according to 82 and of East Longitude. So let us go to the next lesson, chapter 2 that is Indian Physiography. Physiography as you all know that the physical divisions of India. India can be divided into four physical divisions which are those you see here what are the major physical uh, physiographic divisions of India? There are four northern mountains, it's also called as Himalayan, northern Great Plain, Gangetic Plain, Peninsula Plateau, and coastal plains and islands. So this question is also very important. It can be asked for two mark, which are the major physiographic divisions of India. Just you write, no need to explain. Next major question here. The difference between eastern and western ghats. This is one of the most important questions. What are the difference between eastern and western ghats? Let us see first the eastern ghats. They runs almost parallel to the east coast. They are lower than western ghats. Lower than western ghats. We are talking about eastern ghats. Eastern ghats eastern ghat almost run parallel to the eastern coast. Then lesser than, lower than the western ghat. Then Amarakonda is the highest peak. Arbakonda. Arbakonda is the highest peak. They extend from Mahanadi Valley in the north. So it extends from Mahanadi Valley. So highest peak is Arbakonda. Then let us see the western coast. Western guard run parallel to the western coast. Then higher than the eastern guards. And Anaimudi should be Anamudi or Anaimudi is the highest peak. 
and which extend from Tapi Valley to Kanyakumari, Northern Tapi Valley and Southern Kanyakumari. So this is the difference between Western Eastern and Western Gulf. So next important question here, the importance of Peninsula Plateau, importance of Peninsula Plateau. Here you have read five points here. Peninsula Plateau is rich in minerals, thick forest, biodiversity, has it has influence on southwest monsoon, then Western Ghat birthplace for many southern rivers and useful for hydroelectricity generation and it also have so many well known hill stations such as Udi, Kodai Canal. So this all the points have to be written. See next important question is importance of northern mountain importance of northern mountain. This is the very most important question which can be asked in the second chapter. Himalayas act as natural frontiers. Frontiers means boundary. Cold winds checked by Himalaya which blow from Central Asia. Abstract rain bearing winds south southwest monsoon winds checked and cause heavy rainfall. And it has thick forest ideal for plantations like coffee and tea. Then they are sure of store of minerals and birthplace to many rivers and waterfalls. So it's a treasure house for minerals and birthplace for many waterfalls and rivers and hydroelectric power generation is possible in Himalayas. So these are all the Himalayan importance of Himalayan mountain. So it has to be written. It is most important question. So let us see the next question, what can be asked in the, this chapter. See, explain the difference between western coast and the eastern coast. That is the next one. Let us see the western coast first. It lies between western guts and Arabian Sea. It lies between western guts and Arabian Sea. It extends from Ran of Kutch in Gujarat to Kanyakumari in south. See the third one. It is narrow steep, rocky. This is, these are three differences you are right. Western Ghat is concerned. Western coast is concerned. I'm sorry. Western coast. Eastern coast is concerned. It lies between Eastern Ghat and beyond Bengal. This extend from North River Subarna Rekha to Kanyakumari. Subarna Rekha in Bengal region. Kanyakumari in the south. It is border, broader than the Western coastal plain broader because eastern cut is far away from the sea that's why western coastal plain is broader so this is all the difference between western cut and the eastern cut so these three important questions can be asked one is the difference between western cut and eastern cut second one is difference between western coast and eastern coast and physiographic division of India and then importance of Himalaya so all the important questions we can expect in examination. So let us move towards the next lesson, third one, that is Indian climate, climate of India. So Indian climate, you know, which can be divided into four seasons, which are the main seasons of India. The winter season, summer season, rainy season, retreating monsoon season. These are the four seasons in India. So it can be asked for two months. What are the major, major seasons of Indian climate? These four kind of climate should be written. Another important question is explain the process of southwest monsoon. Explain the process of southwest monsoon. Southwest monsoon, how it will be? See southwest monsoon, the two branches we have. One is Arabian Sea Branch and Bay of Bengal Branch. Arabian Sea Branch strikes Western Ghats and cause heavy rainfall. You know, in Western Ghat, Agum Bay, this is most rainfall. So, Arabian Sea Branch hits Western Ghat and cause rainfall. The rainfall decreases towards the eastern slope of Western Ghat. It is lies in rain shadow area. It means eastern part of Western Ghat is called as <coughs> rain shadow area. Rain shadow area means less rainfall. 
because more rain caused in western part of Western Bengal. Then Bay of Bengal branch, another one branch caused heavy rainfall in Meghalaya and Assam because of Himalaya. It is checked and caused heavy rainfall. So as we all know that in India, heaviest rainfall is recorded in Mausin Ram, Archira Punji. These are the two places very closer. Those two places are very closer where we can see the most highest rainfall recorded there. See, describe the situation in the summer climate. This is the another one important question. How will be summer season? Summer season very hot, dry, and highest temperature 49.540 recorded in Danganagan and 10% of rainfall is received by a country in summer season because of temperature, heavy temperature. Heavy temperature, see here, Danganagar 49 degrees Celsius. So because of local temperature and heat, convectional rainfall, convectional rainfall occurs that cause 10%, which is called in a different name in different states. In Karnataka, it is called as mango showers. So in UP and this Bengal, Baisaki, uh, Kal Baisaki, these are all various names given to pre-monsoon rainfall. Mention the highest rainfall areas in India. See this uh, mentioned low rainfall areas and highest rainfall areas. You have to refer the textbook. The Kutch, then Zaskar range. Rainfall area of western uh, rain shadow area of western Ghats and uh, Royali in Rajasthan. These are all the areas which lies in low rainfall. Low, low rainfall. The highest rainfall, see in western Ghat, western part of western Ghat, then Mausindram, Chirapunji, then uh, Andaman and Nicobar Islands. These are all the various places which receives heaviest rainfall, highest rainfall. So these are all the questions can be expected from second chapter. So second chapter, in the, sorry, third chapter, the Indian climate, which, which is having four divisions, in which the rainfall, I mean the southwest rainfall, as monsoon uh, season, this is the most important question. Second one is, the summer season, how will it be the summer season? What are the features of summer season? then highest and lowest rainfall areas. So these are the points to be kept in mind. Let us go to next chapter, fourth one, soils of India. Which are the different soils? So here, the important question is, which are the major types of soils in India? The major types of soils. There are six types of soils found in India. One is alluvial soil, which is seen in northern plain. Second one is black soil, red soil, laterate soil, desert soil, mountain soil. These are all various types of soil found in India. See distribution of black soil in India. Where black soil is seen in India? Black soil found in Deccan basalt trap. That means so the Deccan plateau, which can be seen in Deccan plateau. Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, parts of Telangana, northern part of Karnataka, parts of Gujarat and Tamil Nadu, you can see black soil. Black soil is also called as Rager soil. You should not forget. This is asked in multiple choice, MCQ. What's the other name of black soil? Black soil is also called Rager soil. Black soil, Rager soil, cotton, black soil, these are all the various names given to black soil. Then what are the characteristics of red soil? Red soil is the characteristic side of the kirtra. Eh? Then you have to write, see red soil is formed because of crystalline rocks. Crystalline rocks because of weathering of the crystalline rock, red soil is formed. Then color of this soil is generally red in color, reddish in color. Sandy, less clayey. So they don't retain moisture. So red soil is not good for agriculture where rainfall is very less. But black soil is good for agriculture where 
rainfall is less because it has the quality to retain the moisture over a long period of time. But red soil don't retain moisture. So let us see the next one. Mention the main cause for soil erosion. This is most important question. You can expect it in this examination. See, mention the main causes for soil erosion. It's very easy also. You can write deforestation, then overgrazing, shifting cultivation, fault method of cultivation, use of topsoil for making bricks and tiles. These are all important reason for soil erosion. Soil erosion means mandina saukaliya kriyati karnada. So, adhikya karna gare nantandre, deforestation, overgrazing, shifting cultivation, faulty methods of cultivation, use of top soil for making bricks. So, these are all major reasons for soil erosion. Let us see what are the major effects of soil erosion. Soil erosion in the yen effect are there. What is the result of soil erosion? Nantandre, see, these are all the five impact. Loss of soil fertility, soil loses fertility, agriculture productivity comes down, fall of agriculture productivity, then leads to silt. So because of soil erosion, silt formation takes place in reservoirs and dams. Then capacity of reservoir comes down because of the accumulation of silt. Then groundwater level is lower because percolation comes down percolation rate comes down because of soil erosion then vegetation covers dries up and drought increase then economy as a whole suffers as a great setback because of soil erosion agriculture productivity comes down reservoirs hold less water than before and finally economy uh, slow down because production will be less so economy comes down economy rate of growth will be reduced then what are the methods of soil conservation? Now, then what is the solution for soil erosion? So these are the methods to be followed. Let us see first one. Six points are there. The very short points, it has to be written in the examination in the same way hard right. No need of explaining in an elaborate way. See the first one, afforestation, reforestation. Control over grazing. Over grazing should be controlled. Contour farming. Contour farming means plowing um, the land against the slope. That is what you call contour farming. Construction of check bunds. So check bunds to be constructed. Contour bunding and gully control and bench erasing. These are all methods to be followed to check soil erosion and promote soil conservation. So these are all the things we have to keep in mind. So, in the soils of India, here what can be expected? The types of soil, second one. Uh, distribution of black soil, then nature of red soil, then soil erosion and causes of. So causes of soil erosion and uh, uh, results of soil erosion, effects of soil erosion and finally how to check soil erosion or how to conserve soil. So these are all the questions can be expected from this chapter. Let us go to the next fifth chapter that is Indian forest resource. Indian forest resource is the fifth chapter in which what questions we can expect. So here more number of one mark question, multiple choice question can be asked. Which forests are most commonly found in river deltas? River deltas, mangrove forest is found, isn't it? Then which type of forest or shed their leaves during spring or early summer? So it is deciduous, tropical deciduous forest. It's also called as monsoon forest. See here, this question can be asked for both. One more question as well as a multiple choice question. So with the, what is the nature of monsoon forest? If the question is asked, then you have to write this type of forest shed their leaves in the time of summer. The which state has lowest area under forest? Goa has lowest area under forest. What is Biosphere Reserve? Biosphere Reserve means a special category protected area for promotion of 
wildlife, then what is forest, what is the wildlife uh, sanctuaries, this can be written. So, more question can be expected like this. Mention the measures for conservation of forest. This is the most important question. So, mention the measures for conservation of forest. How to conserve the forest? How to protect the forest? See here are the measures. One, control of deforestation. So, cutting off trees to be avoided. Restriction on grazing. So, forest should be protected. Fencing should be made. That is vertical restriction on grazing. Control of forest fires. Forest fires should be controlled. And preservation of encroachment on forest. Control of forest insects and diseases. Then controlling illegal cutting of trees. Then encourage afforestation. So these are the methods to be followed to conserve forest. Then name the national parks of Karnataka. This is the most important question. This will be asked for two more, which are the national parks can be seen in Karnataka. One, Bandipur National Park. Second one, Nagarwale National Park. And third one, Banyargatta National Park. These are all three national parks can be seen in Karnataka. Mention main objectives of biosphere reserves. Biosphere, biosphere reserves, the main objectives in there. Conservation, protection, research, education, local involvement. These are all the main objectives of biosphere reserves. So let us go to the next question, important question. That is, what are the causes for destruction for forest? Why nowadays forest is becoming less? Why we are cutting trees? Because of many reasons. One, the expansion of agricultural land. So we are expanding agricultural land day by day because increasing population. Second one, construction of roads and railways, you know. Then irrigation projects. Then industrialization, urbanization, overgrazing and forest. These are all various reasons for destruction of forest. This point is not there. Forest overgrazing. Till overgrazing you can write. You can eliminate this point. Next one. How to conserve forest? How to conserve forest? What is the forest conservation? Why do forest conservation is essential? Forest conservation is essential to strike ecological balance. So how to conserve it? See, to maintain environmental balance, getting rain, to protect habitat of wildlife, then prevent soil erosion. These are all the reasons for which we have to conserve forest. So how to conserve forest? See the previous question. See the previous question. Reason for destruction of forest. We have to write opposite to this. That becomes conservation of forest. Forest forest conservation answer. So let us see the last one. What are the types of forest found in India? This is the most important question. What are the types of forest found in India? In India, different types of forest found. One is tropical evergreen forest, then tropical deciduous forest, scrub forest and grassland, desert vegetation, mangrove forest and mountain forest. These are all various kinds of, six kinds of forest can be seen in India. Let us go to next lesson, sixth one, that is Indian water reserves. Indian water source resource. So which are the main rivers you know in North India? Because rivers can be classified into North Indian rivers and South Indian rivers. Mainly you have to keep in mind birthplace of various rivers. So for example, river Indus, it takes place in Mount Kailash. Then South India, longest river in South India, Godavari is the longest river in South India. So across which river Hiraput project is built? Mahanadi. Which rivers are also known as rivers of Himalayas, rivers of North India. North Indian rivers are called as Himalayan rivers. Birthplace of river Gangotri Glacier which is the birthplace of river Ganga. I should, have, I should add Ganga here. Ganga rises in Gangotri Glacier, which is the largest river in India. Largest is Ganga River. So a lot of one more question can be asked here. You see, many questions are there. 
which is the what is perennial canals, various types of irrigation. We have to. So what is irrigation? Irrigation means artificial supply of water to agriculture. It's called irrigation. Types of irrigation can also be asked in examination. There are three types of irrigation. One is canal. Second one is well irrigation and tank irrigation. In canals, there are two types of canals. One is either in inundation canals and perennial canals. Inundation means only in the time of flood, these canals can be used. Perennials means always you can use the canals by construction of dams. So, another question, one more question, which is the first important multi-purpose river valley project in India, that is Dhamodar after independence, Dhamodar river valley was constructed. Which river was called as Sour of Bengal? Dhamodar is called as Sour of Bengal. See, this is called, this can be asked for map question, which is the highest gravity dam in India. Highest gravity dam in Bakra Nandri. Bakra dam is the highest gravity dam in India. So, this is also be asked in marking and map. So, this time, map question will be for 5 mark. So, this can be asked for locating in the outer map of India. So, you have to be very careful here. And what is the name of reservoir of Bakra Dam? Govind Sagar. It's called as Govind Sagar. It is the longest dam in India. Kudakud is the longest dam. Here, in this chapter, for two and three more questions, the important thing is explain the Brahmaputra river system or mention the major types of irrigation in India. This is Another simple question, you can write the three types of irrigation. One is well irrigation, tank irrigation, canal irrigation. These are the three types of irrigation. Why is irrigation important in India? In, in, in India, irrigation is important because majority of the people, they are depending on monsoon rainfall. Monsoon rainfall is insufficient and irregular, not regular. Agriculture in India depends mainly on monsoon. As it is uncertain, unevenly distributed, crops are affected. So, we have to go for irrigation. We have to, it is, irrigation is important in our country. What is multi-purpose river valley project? Mention objectives of this project. So, objectives of multi-purpose river valley project is another important question. It's so simple also. So objectives, you see that, which are the objectives and six points you have to keep in mind. One, provide water for irrigation. So providing water for irrigation to control the floods, to generate hydroelectricity, to prevent soil erosion, to develop inland waterways and to provide recreation facilities, to provide water for domestic purpose, to reclaim land for agriculture. So these are all objectives of multi-purpose river valley project. In the examination, whatever the project is asked to write about, you have to write same points because all multi-purpose river valley projects have been constructed to fulfill these objectives. So no need to keep uh, different uh, answers for different uh, multi-purpose river valley projects. The common points to be written, common points never recited. So write a note on. Alamati, these are things, it is a very rare question. So this is about the sixth lesson. So in sixth lesson, what can we expect? One, multi-purpose river valley projects are objectives and one more question, various one more question, in which the birthplace of various rivers. So this is the most important questions. Sixth chapter.